It's my very special pleasure to join you at this national launch and official rollout of the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign under the program to end open defecation in Nigeria. Today's event provides a platform to reiterate our commitment to improving the living standards and quality of life of our people. Access to adequate sanitation and hygiene, known as WASH services, is a critical factor in the socio-economic development of any nation because it's a major contributor to human capital outcomes such as early childhood survival, health, and educational attainment. This administration has consistently affirmed its commitment to the development of the WASH sector in Nigeria. The launch of the National Action Plan for the revitalization of the sector and the declaration of a state of emergency by the President last year was among the many initiatives of government in addressing the challenges confronting the sector. The National Action Plan is phased into emergency, recovery and revitalization stages. In this emergency phase of the action plan, it's our desire to aggressively mobilize the entire country towards ending the practice of open defecation. There is no need to debate the point that sanitation is a major public health concern and that poor sanitation adversely impacts us all. The World Bank's report, the, the World Bank report on the economic impact of poor sanitation due to unsanitary or shared toilets and open defecation estimates that Nigeria loses over 450 billion annually with open defecation accounting for about one third of this amount. These costs include healthcare costs, loss of productivity, premature death, poor educational outcomes amongst others. But perhaps some of the more dire costs of open defecation are those that cannot be quantified in monetary terms. The social costs, loss of dignity, lack of privacy, and the increased vulnerability to physical attacks and violence, especially for women and girls. Our ta the target 6.2 of the SDG goals seeks to achieve, I quote, achieve by 2030 access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and to end all open defecation, paying special attention to the needs of women and girls and those in vulnerable situations. Meeting this target is expected to contribute significantly to the achievement of other goals. Specifically, it will contribute to Nigeria's achievement of the SDG Goal 3 to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being. Between 2016 and 2019, with the support of our development partners, 14 local government areas have been declared open defecation free of the 774 local government areas in the country. This achievement is a far cry from our target making Nigeria open defecation free by 2025, according to our national roadmap. So the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign is part of our effort to fast track our progress and to ensure that we can achieve this goal by 2025. Today, which also marks the United Nations designated World Toilet Day, is an auspicious day officially roll out the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign. The Clean Nigeria campaign is a national transformative initiative to mobilize the entire nation towards inviting the culture of safe and sustainable sanitation, especially as we look forward to our 2025 target date. This campaign is also being backed by a presidential executive order which will give effect to the implementation of the Clean Nigeria campaign. 
The federal government recognizes the fact that action to end open defecation in Nigeria will require the contribution and commitment of everyone, governments at all levels, civil society, private sector, development partners, traditional and religious leaders, and the entire populace. So households must be mobilized to provide their own sanitation facilities. Government institutions and the private sector should provide sanitation facilities in public places, such as schools, healthcare centers, parks, motor parks, markets, etc., in order to realize the total coverage and sustainable access to all of the companies, especially again as we look towards our target date of 2025. Although we know that it is the primary responsibility of, of state governments to provide water, sanitation, and hygiene services, but the federal government remains committed to supporting the states. Every state initiative will receive as much federal government support as is possible so that we can provide all of these services to the Nigerian people. To this end, states and federal states and the federal capital territory should consider common sense policies, common sense measures, such as ensuring that construction sites are equipped with toilet facilities. Property development control regulators can also make it mandatory for buildings to include external toilet facilities for staff such as security guards. These and such other measures will reduce the incidence of public defecation. With one third of the population, one third of the Nigerian population, without access to basic water supply services, and more than half of the population without basic sanitation services, we must all redouble our efforts and work together in order to meet the nation's water supply, sanitation and hygiene needs. As a nation, we simply cannot afford the huge costs, including fatalities caused by preventable water and sanitation related, related diseases, such as result from inadequate uh, water, sanitation and hygiene services. In contributing to the government's efforts, citizens must also take action to avoid open defecation. I wish to commend the state governments who have already taken several steps and initiatives to develop the state's act, uh, specific action plan for the wash, wash sector, as, uh, especially uh, in the past few months. As the President said during the launch of the National Action Plan last year, the federal government supports the states will be based on their commitment to implement the National Wash Action Plan in their respective states and to end open defecation by 2025. It is our expectation that this national launch will trigger state and local governments to launch their own mass mobilization of citizens of their states towards the target dates that have been set. It is now, uh, on this note, my very special pleasure and privilege to formally launch the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign towards an open, defecation-free Nigeria. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.